What's up guys, it's Zach here and I'm back with the Jackaroo. Uh, as you may have seen in a previous video, I tried to get it registered after doing a whole lot of work to it and it didn't make it. Had to pick it up on a trailer, bring it back to the workshop, strip it down and work out what was going on. I had some trouble doing that and yeah, it's been quite a number of months. But I think we're finally getting the four wheel drive back on the road. And it really was pretty simple in the end. So uh, let me show you what I did. Pretty simple getting the four wheel drive back on the road and this is how I did it. Right here. I uh, abandoned the Jack Roo and instead fixed my old patrol that I uh, killed the motor in a number of years ago. I originally purchased it probably about five years ago after driving it for about two months. It did a big end bearing. Uh, this came out with a four litre petrol and it was a limited edition motor. So I had quite a few problems getting parts and the like for it. After a number of months trying to get that going and planning to rebuild it, instead I did a diesel conversion, turbo diesel. So it's got the SD33T in it now. And finally, it uh, should be ready to be registered. Which, by the time this video comes out, will hopefully be the case. Yeah, she's a bit of an old girl, but in these things they are pretty bulletproof, really. Uh, my old man's had one, and, well, he hasn't seemed to kill it yet, and he's pretty rough on the gear, so... Fingers crossed. It's all running sweet, but... So I've, yeah, got the old girl roadworthied and uh, ready to be registered, but it's at the very basics pretty much uh, it doesn't even have a stereo or anything in it at this point because last time I was pretty sure the jackaroo was right and going to be registered so I did a whole lot of work in accessories fit up snowboarding racks and everything as you know it uh, didn't make it so I'm not making that mistake twice we're gonna get this thing registered and then we'll work on fitting all the accessories plans to kit it out for a bit of a camper and everything so I can spend a few days in the snow without having to rough it so much uh, a few more luxuries and i'll probably do a build video as that goes but first step let's get it on the road so i'll uh see you once it's registered okay so we've made it to vic roads uh to get this thing registered it's an improvement on last time uh hopefully all goes well inside there and we'll uh, be walking out with some plates very shortly i uh did get here quite a bit earlier I uh, didn't expect this thing to handle quite so well on the roads but it uh, pulled up most of the hills and travelled along quite nicely so yeah I'm a little bit early so I got a bit of time to kill uh, I think we'll go inside and make the most of their air conditioning seems so this thing hasn't got any we have plates time to uh, go secure them on the car we're registered As you can see, the car is registered. It has made it home. Uh, so it's done a lot better than the Jackaroo. It also brings the end of phase one, which was getting the car on the road. And we step into phase two, which is basic four wheel drive accessories and some luxuries. So we'll be putting on a set of driving lights, a UHF, dual batteries, uh, a stereo, as well as some central locking and a few other bits. I have all that stuff laying around either at home or at the workshop. So. Yeah, nice easy modifications to get this thing moving along. So yeah, thanks for uh, checking the video out, and I'll catch you in the next one.